Well, I'll be back with a few more questions and guests as well on tonight's roundtable. Guests, of course, being Chris Difford from Squeeze, Ronnie James Dio from Black Sabbath, and our very own Simon Bates. Right, the time now, just coming up to quarter to six, and sitting at the round table, it's the kid. That's right, with my guest. Thank you. Radio one, round table. And a couple of guests for the first time on the round table. I'm pleased to welcome to the table a man fresh from America. That's Chris Difford from Good Squeeze. Evening, folks. Hi there. You've been over in the States for, uh, for a tour? Yeah, it's a uh, fourth American tour, and we were there for six weeks. Hard work? Very, very hard work. We played six nights a week, travelled eight hours a day, that kind of thing. But you don't look too tired. No, I look great, don't I? See, <laughs> yeah. As I eat and sleep well. Ah, picture of health. A man who is over from the States, but rather more permanently, is Ronnie James Dio, who uh, I met many years ago when he was a member, well, was a member of a band called Elf, right? Exactly right. And then you founded Rainbow with Richie Blackmore back in when? 75, five years ago? That was 75. Yes. And now you're singing with uh, Black Sabbath. Right again. Hey, I've been doing my homework. I know. <laughs> I spent hours No, you know it. all of it. <laughs> Welcome to the program, anyway. Thank you, good to be here. You're touring as well. That's You've right. been on the road, what, for, what, three weeks now? We've been on the road, I think, for three weeks, approaching four years. <laughs> because we've just come back from Europe. We've done uh, what we like to term warm-up gigs to get ourselves ready for, for Britain. And we've been buried away in God-forsaken places in Germany. English audiences will love to hear that. And Scottish and Welsh as well, because... Uh, to, to think that you would treat the European audiences as, as warm-up for them. Oh, well, they are. Party. Well, this is where, this is the big time here. Isn't it? Okay. And a man who's doodling all over a piece of paper. What is that? It's not very artistic from this uh, it's, angle. It's Simon. extremely dirty, and you're not supposed to bring it up. It's also very Freudian. I've just realized what I've drawn, and I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen you for ages. Well, I've been doing warm-up gigs in the morning, uh, between 9 and 11.30, <laughs> oh. prior to my personal appearance on, on Round Table. Good evening. It's nice to see you again. You're looking younger. It's fine. It's, it's the haircut. I think. It, no, it's the skin. Is it? It's oh. luminous. It's deliberate. <laughs> this is Journey. It's a new single. In fact, it was a recent American hit, and it's called Any Way You Want It. Any Way You Want It. Journey, who have enjoyed a certain amount of success in their home country of America, and nothing over here up until now. I wonder if that record will change it on CBS. Any Way You Want It. Ronnie James Dio. Now, Journey are the band that Neil Sean, in fact, plays guitar with, isn't it? That's right. Be with, uh, very, very excellent guitar player. He really is an excellent guitar player. As far as the group goes, I would know more, a bit more about them, I think, you know, having heard them in America, and they are very successful there. Very manufactured band, I think. I've always felt that. Excellent at what they do. The drummer they had uh, before, the present one now, uh, Ainsley Dunbar, uh, brilliant, now gone on to uh, be with Jefferson Starship. Uh, but Journey as a band as they are now are um, right in the, the little groove that kind of works in America. Hit riff, uh, everything works very well, very manufactured, good band. But to me, nothing really very different. He lacked just a little bit of emotion. Well, a whole lot of emotion, really, for me. I wonder if Chris Stifford will agree. Well, having just spent six weeks in America, I've noticed that America's totally submerged in this type of sound, typical FM play, what they call FM play. And I'm bored stiff of it. You know, it's like every time we turned on the radio in, in the truck, it was like this all the time. So we'd rather li we spent our, most of our time listening to gospel gospel state stations. Oh, they're great. Yeah, and such like. And uh, to me it's like, uh, not very interest interesting, I find the guitar playing is a little bit like a cricket bat playing. <laughs> you know, like when you've got a cricket bat when you're a kid. <laughs> and you're going up and down with your fing fingers and everything. Didn't really go far for me, I'm sorry about that one. No, you don't have to be sorry about it, Chris. I mean, it's f funny, isn't it, the way the FM radio in America... I mean, it's, it's a shame, I mean, we tend to knock American radio a lot from the, the heights of this particular program. But the thing is, American FM radio was so adventurous at, uh, at one time, maybe 13 years ago, but it seems to have fallen into this kind of formula. Simon? Well, it's sort of heavy metal Lena Martell, isn't it? <laughs> uh, it's, it's not, for me, in any other sense than I think it'd be very nice in the car with your mind a million miles away from what you're listening to. And that's not to knock it. It's very commercial. As, as Ronnie said, it's very plastic and very pleasant and very amiable, and I don't remember it. How rude. <laughs> <laughs> all the things that, all the qualities that Chris doesn't seem to like in a record. <laughs> right. No, I didn't mean that as rude. I mean, in, in fact, it's a compliment to the kind of thing I think they're trying to do. I think they do it very well. Yeah. I mean, and that in itself has to be a measure of success, really. Sure. But uh, as far as, I guess, what we've all said, you know, so much for that. Right. <laughs> so much for Journey, then. Any way you want it. That's out on CBS Records. Next up, Gary Newman's new single on Beggar's Banquet, We Are Glass. <laughs> Okay. 
<laughs> well, 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 kid, I think it's you now. <laughs> it's not you? It's not me. No, it's not me. Well, the way you're playing that record, really, you know, I, wouldn't a needle help? <laughs> right. I think we're on the air again. Yeah. <laughs> I think that needle, kid, can you just have a look at the needle down there? Let me have a look. It looks a bit... Plump. Like a toothpick. I think it's part of the BBC cutbacks. Either that or Radio 2's got in here. Using toothpicks as needles, eh? <laughs> right. <laughs> We have Mike Hikes, producer extraordinaire, rushing to the turntable, and he's going to try and a different the turntable, or changing the little needle then. Maybe try a diamond one this time. It's it's very exciting. Right. It's very live, listeners, isn't it, this? Yeah. It's it reminds me of a certain Saturday morning TV show. That, you, that Swap Shop. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, I know the one you mean. <laughs> Doesn't know look different in a dress. <laughs> okay, I th we have the thumbs up, I think.